Hi guys, Jake here from Luxury Visuals and Samir has got in touch and asked if there was a quicker way to start the V-Ray Interactive Production Render, also known as IPR. He said he found going through the render settings and from the frame buffer time consuming and is there a way to create a shortcut? So the current ways he's talking about is we can go through render setup and under V-Ray there's a start IPR here that we can hit and the button in the frame buffer is here and the answer is yes we can make a keyboard shortcut and this is probably the quickest way to actually run an interactive render and before I show you how to do that I just want to make you aware that in the V-Ray toolbar there is an option to select interactive here so you just hold down on the render button and it's the second one down and if you click that it's always going to be there so it's quite quite quick to go up there and click that but um, I do understand the need for the shortcut so the first thing I thought when I was asked this is let's check out the keyboard shortcuts on the V-Ray and see if they're is an option there and I had a quick look through here and I couldn't actually find anything um, that I thought would work. There is a viewport interactive um, but I actually prefer using it in the frame buffer so I don't see anything in here. But to start a V-Ray interactive we can actually use a really small bit of script this is like a, a max listener. So if we write V-Ray start IPR and open and close brackets and hit enter, you'll see that we will start running an interactive render. So this is great, but we don't want to type that in every time and we don't want to copy and paste that down into this max script listener. So let's create a keyboard shortcut for that. So let's go up to script him new script and we want this to be a macro script so let's type macro script and then we want to type a name for our script so I'm going to call this V-Ray IPR you'll notice like if I type V-Ray and put a space it will go green and this means that Max Script thinks that this is a comment. So if you do type the name and it comes up green, you don't want it to be green basically. So you could put an underscore, or in this case, I'm just writing IPR. So just make sure the name of your script is in black. And next, we want to write a category. So this is going to help us find our script from the Customize UI menu. So I'm going to write category. And I'm going to put that in luxury visuals. You can just write your name or whatever here. And then finally, underneath, open brackets. And I'm going to write B Ray star IPR, open close brackets, and put that in open and close brackets. And then I'm going to hit file, save as. I'm just going to save it on my desktop for the moment. And I'm just going to write V-Ray IPR save. So that's now saved. So we can close that script. And then from my desktop, I'm just going to grab the V-Ray IPR script, drag and drop it into Max. I'm going to go to Customize, Customize UI. And make sure we're in the Keyboard tab, because we want a keyboard shortcut. And we'll go to Luxury Visuals. And this is why we wrote a category. So you can already see the copy and paste scripts we've made before. And I'm just going to select V-Ray IPR. And then in the hotkey, I'm just going to put something like control backslash and hit assign. So now that's our keyboard shortcut. When I hit control backslash, we'll now run an interactive render. So this is how I would tackle the problem. if any of you know an easier way I'd love to hear it so write in the comments if you enjoyed using scripts to speed up your 3d work then I'd recommend you check out the video I made about creating a copy and paste script 
and remember to like, subscribe and check out the other tutorials in the description.